هاي مرحبا بكم معنا اليوم غتكون الحلقه مع السفير الكوري في المغرب في الرباط وحنا فرحانين بزاف الوجود ديالنا في الريزيدونس ديالو غنخليكم على الانترفيو ديالي معاه ونهاركم بروك Mr. Ambassador, uh, it's my pleasure to meet you and thank you so much for having us in your residency. Before we let the audience to get to know you, I know it's such a busy moment right now for you since this year is coming to an end. So thank you for your time. Uh, salam. Uh, Anna is me Kyung Chung, uh, Safir uh, Jumhuriyat Korea, Fial Maghreb. Tasharaf to be Merifetik. Wow, you're so really good at uh, Arabic. Oh, wow, I'm so surprised. <laughs> no, I actually practiced, <laughs> practiced. That's, that's a lot to speak. Um, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we should celebrate your 30 year career in diplomacy. Next and, year. Uh, next year, yeah. Mm. And you started the, at the Department of Foreign Affairs in 1993. So, how does it feel to achieve many goals in the past 30 years of your life? Wow. That is a that is a quite a heavy question to to start. Uh, well, well, the the thirty years. You're right. Uh, in, or come to think of it, it's uh, it, it's 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 quite a long time. But I feel as if uh, you know it was just only a few days ago that I I first joined the service. Um, yeah, I mean, I had um, many good experience uh, in many different assignments that I had, uh, made many good friends, and, uh, and here I am now in Morocco. And uh, this post is uh, quite special in many ways, uh, given the fact that this is my uh, first ambassadorship uh, and also my first time serving in, uh, in Africa also in, in uh, Arab uh, and also Islamic uh, country. So, uh, well, every day is a, is a learning experience, uh, including this interview. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, you graduated from a faculty of law, Seoul National University, and also you have GD you got from the United States, New York. Um, and for the overseas post, you work in Korean Embassy, United States, Japan, Bulgaria, and you joined Morocco July last year. A lot of great experiences, so what are your biggest achievements? I think all my posts and all my assignments had some, some, some good elements, but uh, notably uh, the time I spent in Tokyo was, um, was a time of uh, many well, anxieties and difficulties uh, in the bilateral relations between Korea and Japan. Uh, well, like Morocco, which also has its difficulties with its neighbors. Uh, well, we also have had some issues with our neighbors, including Japan. Um, but uh, with, uh, well, of course, uh, goodwill, earnesty, and honesty, uh, I was able to, um, to make, uh, again, uh, many good contacts personally, and also even in those situations, uh, I had a very well, good, uh, constructive dialogue with my Japanese counterparts. Uh, I can also say the same uh, when I was serving as a director of legal affairs uh, in the foreign ministry. Uh, we had some issues also with, uh, with China, uh, at this time with um, uh, international legal issues in our maritime borders. And uh, of course, uh, well, we we come from we are facing this issue and we come from a different perspective in approaching this uh, uh, particular problem. Uh, we again uh, were able to find a uh, well workable solution. Well, through again honesty. I call Morocco in Korea one heart because we have good relationships. And um, Mr. Ambassador, you celebrated 60 year anniversary of diplomatic relations on the 5th of July. But also you graduate the six Moroccan scholars that were chosen among a lot of applicants and granted the Global Korea scholarship to pursue their higher studies in various files in Korea. The most valued element in the society was, uh, was actually making a name of your, for yourself uh, in the court and they were given to the, the people who passed the exam. That's the only way. Uh, so, so it is ingrained in the, the Korean tradition 
that uh, if you want to get ahead, you have to get educated. This is, I think, the key to, uh, to the, the Korean success story. And uh, I think uh, there is, uh, I mean, a lot of similarities also here in Morocco, where I also hear that uh, education is the key to the Moroccan success. And uh, many achievements have been made in this field. Uh, I, I think also that uh, new development model that is uh, the, the roadmap that uh, this, uh, this current government of, in Morocco is pursuing uh, uh, attaches a quite high priority in education. So I think Morocco is on the right path. And you highlighted the importance of the Korean culture, K-music, K-food, since there's a lot of K-culture followers in Morocco, getting bigger and bigger even nowadays. Is the embassy has any future plans for the K-culture lovers and followers to enjoy the K-culture in Morocco before they visit Korea itself anytime soon? Sure. Uh, so, uh, where I'm sitting, uh, the cultural exchange, of course, uh, and also the promotion of Korean culture is uh, quite an important tool uh, as an ambassador and also as an embassy. So, but Already, the, the so-called K-culture is uh, well, beyond any promotion uh, and it's already the market force uh, is, uh, is actually leading uh, the, the appreciation of, of K-culture around the world. Uh, but uh, even with this, uh, we also uh, have uh, many programs that uh, we, we promote Korean culture. This year is a little bit special because uh, we celebrate the 60th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations between Korea and Morocco. So we've had uh, many, I guess, uh, extra programs this year. Uh, like uh, the movie festivals, we've held this already twice. Uh, we also had a K-pop um, um, competition. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, well, some performing troops to come here to, to showcase uh, the latest Korean culture. So those are some things that we do. And uh, of course, uh, well, you mentioned at the beginning, the, uh, the education uh, or the scholarship that the, we have, the program that we have. Uh, well, at the moment, the number is very small, um, well, six uh, people per year. So uh, my, my goal is to, to, to expand this number uh, uh, a little bit more so that uh, many more uh, talented youth in Morocco could benefit from this program and I think, uh, well, I think uh, Korean education uh, system, which may be a bit different from what you're used to, but could be also something that uh, you may find attractive. Now we're going to move to the speed game, but we're going to take it slow for you. Where is your favorite city in Morocco? Mm. Uh, so I, I have to do this within a certain time limit or something? Um, I wanted to because there are just so game. many. Yeah. <laughs> I have like five questions, but like uh, 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 okay. we, we can do a low, slow uh, game. Okay, <laughs> you can take your time. Okay, sure. Uh, well, you know, I visited many places in Morocco. Some notable places. Uh, well, not because I know this uh, these cities very well, but uh, well, I ended up going there somehow. So. Uh, for now, my uh, favorite cities, <laughs> multiple cities, uh, are um, Essaouira and Tangier. Uh, um, is there any reason? There's... Yeah, sure. Um, I'm a golfer. Uh, Morocco has a very nice golfing environment. Uh, those two cities have very interesting golf courses. Uh, I, I will, and of course, uh, Essaouira. Tangier also has a very colorful and unique uh, history. So, uh, and also, um, you know, there are many interesting events that have, 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 have happened there. 
uh, and also, uh, you know, I have a, I have a, I have, I'm here with my uh, my wife and my 15-year-old boy, and uh, it's also quite family-friendly uh, place to to visit. So, how about Korea? What's your favorite city? Hmm. Well, I was born and raised in Seoul, uh, and. Um, and I, uh, as, as you said, I have had well, 30 years service in, in, in the foreign, foreign ministry, so I've been away from my country for some time. But, uh, well, strangely, I was able to rediscover my country uh, during the COVID time where you know, I had nowhere else to go uh, but to explore within my country. So. Uh, for those who are watching, uh, I would uh, uh, recommend uh, this particular place, uh, which is, uh, uh, first of all, uh, Sokcho, which is in the, in the Kangwon province in the eastern part of Korea, and also um, Goje, uh, it's an island, uh, it's a Goje Dog is an island uh, in, in the south. Uh, which has uh, very interesting uh, natural features uh, and also, well, it's an island, so nice shores. So, yeah, it, those two places come to mind. How about your favorite food, like Moroccan food? Ah, I have, I don't know, I forgot the name of uh, this dish in, uh, in Derija, but uh, it's, a, it's a chicken. Uh, tajin dish uh, with uh, with olives. Olives and lemon. Yeah, olives and lemon. Yeah. It's, it's very popular. What is it called? Tajin jesh belham. Tajin jesh belham. Belham. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so the taste is not really uh, weird for you when you. No, no, no. I I, I, look, I I really like it. I can, you know, whenever I, I go to a Moroccan restaurant, that's the the dish that I order, and well. When it comes to Moroccan dishes and especially tajin, I have tasted uh, them when I was uh, living in other places in the U.S. Uh, and also in Korea and in, in Japan as well. Um, but one thing that I'm not really used to is this. Uh, so tajin with the dried fruits, it, it's a, it's a, it's both uh, salty and uh, sweet. We. We also have this in, in Korea, but uh, somehow uh, this sweet and salty combination is something that I found to be a little bit uh, unique. So, so tajin with chicken and olives um, and, and lemons. How about Korean food? Uh, so you can basically taste Korean food anywhere around the world these days, uh, except Rabat. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, well, my residence is the only place uh, in uh, Rabat, uh, which ha have um, well, palatable Korean dishes, but um, and you know many of the dishes are easily emulated uh, in, in, in in making in, in around the world. But a very difficult dish for um, for I guess uh, the, the the foreign chef or and even Koreans uh, in the foreign land because of uh, difficulty in finding ingredients in making is naengmyeon. Naengmyeon is, uh, is a cold noodle buckwheat dish. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really not, not something that uh, you, you can uh, find uh, the authentic, authentic dish uh, in, in, around the world. My favorite dish is kimchi chiga. Kimchi chiga. Ah. I love kimchi chiga a lot. Okay. <laughs> it was my favorite dish when I was in Korea. I was eating it all the time, oh. almost every day. Oh, I see. But it's a most mostly the kimchi chiga uh, is. I mean, you can make it with any ingredients, but kimchi plus usually meat. meat. Uh, but. So I, I, but I see. Okay, yeah. because uh, the Koreans prefer the pork, pork version, one, yes. but uh, since you can't consume, the, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the the tuna is, yeah, uh, is a, yeah. Um, your favorite Moroccan song? I mean, so when so I, I heard this song uh, in a wedding and uh, in, a, in a Moroccan traditional wedding, and uh, it, I mean it was quite melodious. I I, I forgot the the name and the melody itself. Uh, but they say it was a, an Egyptian song. Uh, it's just like a habibi, habibi, something oh, like this. I, I think I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, it's very yeah. important in every wedding. Ah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. How about your favorite Korean song? 
Uh, okay, well, there are so many, but one that I'm listening to these days, I don't know, it's maybe it's just the weather that is making me <laughs> melancholic, but uh, there is this Korean singer named uh, Lee Seung Yeol. Mm -hmm. Lee Seung Yeol is, uh, is known as the, the Bono of Korea. So he, he kind of sings in a, this lower, low, um, monotonous tone, but his, his music is, uh, yeah, is, uh, yeah, it's somewhat soothing. And the other one is uh, Kom Jong Chima. I don't, do you know Kom Jong Chima? Yeah, he's also uh, uh, a singer, singer right, and, and writer himself. He's a ballad, ballad singer. Yeah, he's not a ballad singer. I don't know. I mean, maybe a new age music can. Uh, he's a very uh, like a like a difficult to define uh, his style. In yeah, his in in his style and. Yeah, I, mm. I, I, I recommend oh, I'll, I'll, I'll recommend it. Yeah, I will definitely give it a look. Yeah. And my favorite singer is Park Yoshi. Oh, I see. I think he's uh, the top singer in Korea from, mm, my, from my perspective. I because see. Because he defines the real ballad and the type of lyrics he uses is mm. very emotional. So mm. maybe the weather is doing it to me too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, something I, you look up to uh -huh. the like, uh, I'm down, I, I'm not motivated enough to do my thing, but when I look at that sentence, it makes me always mm. motivated. Well, I don't find motivation with just words, um, but, uh, well, there are two, two adages or two, well, mottos that I, I, I like. Uh, one is, uh, it's actually uh, four letters of wisdom, usually. It's uh, from a Chinese origin. Uh, one that I, I adhere to and I also emphasize on my, uh, my team in the embassy is Kawha Man Sasong. And that means uh, if, uh, if, if uh, there's harmony at home, uh, everything is okay. So uh, what that means is uh, basically find balance in your work and life. Uh, so, so that is something that I uh, will emphasize to my my uh, my team. And also, uh, well, this it's not a source of my motivation, but it's a way to to. To, to, to find uh, some semblance in what I'm doing. And that is that uh, uh, it takes wisdom to understand wisdom. It's a, uh, so, it's a, so, and, uh, and the music is, uh, is, uh, is something, uh, m music is nothing if the audience is deaf. That's the, the second one. And there's a quote by um, uh, an American journalist, uh, Walter Lippmann. And I, uh, you know, when there is a difficult situation and, you know, people, you know, say many things, um, but uh, to, to really understand uh, the way forward, one, you know, needs to, to, to have this intuition. It's not intellect, but, or analytical skill. It's just kind of an intuition to, to find a way and it takes uh, wisdom to find it. And, uh, and of course, you know, it's wisdom is a, a subjective one. Uh, but, uh, you know, once you well, get, get used to, to, to finding uh, some, some, some way out of a difficult situation using your intuition, it actually improves with, with time and practice. So, I think uh, those are some of the things that I, 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 I hold uh, deep in my mind, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it gives me also passion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm um, very, very pleased to have you here today. Thank I, you. I was really, um, I had time to get to know you in person, mm. get to know, uh, also for the audience to get to know you in person. Mm, right. But um, for now, mm. uh, Korea is getting bigger in Morocco, not mm. only like in MENA region in general, mm. but Morocco specifically. Mm. Um, is there anything you want to say to anybody that's not really familiar with mm. Korea or mm. um, anybody that's interested about Korea and they have dreamed to follow you know, maybe education yeah. or culture mm, sure I think you know um, this uh, kind of interest I think fl flows both ways uh, you know Moroccans are interested in Korea and Koreans are interested in Morocco 
Uh, but uh, in the past, uh, because of the, the geographical distance and also, um, well, our culture, language, uh, languages are quite different. But uh, now with this uh, technology and also um, somehow this Korean fad is now just making uh, you know, many people around the world to get interested in Korea. So, uh, so I hope uh, that, uh, well, first of all, this fad is uh, going to be long lasting for the Moroccan uh, people, especially youth, to, to, to find um, maybe some universal message in, in what Korean uh, soft culture is producing. And I also like to say this to the Korean audience that uh, Morocco is, uh, is a country with uh, very, very long and uh, also uh, diverse and also very proud history. Uh, and uh, so I, I hope the, the Koreans also would uh, to find Morocco as their next destination uh, for, 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 for a vacation or a visit. Amazing. Thank you for having us today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.